Hi there, welcome to VA Consulting Pro and welcome to this another episode of Microsoft Fabric where I'm going to let you know how you can refresh your data sets using data pipelines. Recently, Microsoft has released a new activity in the data pipelines in Microsoft Fabric that is going to help you to refresh your data sets. What is it? How you can use it? And how to set it up? Everything you're going to get to know in this video. So if you are interested to set up your event-driven data set refreshes, then please watch this video till the end. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. First of all, you have to log in into your Microsoft Fabric portal, or you can also log in into your Microsoft Power BI portal, but you should have Fabric tenant licenses over there. Otherwise, this feature is not gonna work. So basically, you have to fulfill all the prerequisite of trying the Microsoft Fabric items or how you can create it, etc. If you don't know, then I have already created Microsoft Fabric tutorial. Please check the link in the description section. Also, if you are preparing for the DP600, which is a certification for Microsoft Fabric Associate Engineer, then we have also started a series for that. You can also find the link in the description section. So please do check them out. Another prerequisite is that you should have a workspace, which is going to be backed by Microsoft Fabric capacity. Now, what you have to do, first of all, you have to create over here plus icon, which is new. And here we are going to create a pipeline. So let's explore more options over here. Now you are over here, but still you have to figure out where is the data pipeline, which is over here. Otherwise, you can also jump into Data Factory and there you can start creating your data pipeline from the top itself. Whether you are creating a data flows gen 2 or data pipeline, you have to come under the data engineering workspace or data factory. You have to come under data factory, not data engineering. I apologize for that. So you have to come over here, data factory. Over here, you see that I'm under my fabric workspace where I'm going to create this new activity or this new data pipeline. So click over here on the data pipeline. You can give it any name. I'll say data refresh activity. Or you can also say, rather than data refresh activity, semantic model refresh activity. That's what I'm going to call it. Because data set is now known as semantic model in Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Simply create over here. Just click on this create button over here. But please do remember that before that, I have also created one video that how you can refresh your Power BI data sets using ADF or Azure Data Factory. If you don't know about that, please do check the link in the description section or also you can search over our, this YouTube channel where you are going to find it out. As soon as you land over here, you will see this pipeline activity. Otherwise, you can also start with some guidance that is what is the copy data systems, how to pack this with some sample data, or you can also start using the templates. I have already created a lot of videos on data pipelines. So again, I request you, if you are new over here, please do check the links in the description section or also check some other videos on our channel, which are definitely going to help you out. Now, I'm going to click on this pipeline activity and you can see that I'm not getting that activity, but over here you will find this semantic model refresh, which is in preview. Please do remember that guys, which I always request you do not use any preview feature for your production items or anything that is already in production or you want to deploy over there because there may be some more changes in this one and that can impact your production. So please don't use it, but you can try it out so that you are always ready for the future. Now click over here on this semantic model refresh and there is certain settings. You can give it any name. I'm going to say semantic model refresh. That's it. If you would like to put some description over there, then you can do that over here. Otherwise, there are certain other settings you can just apply over there. But right now we don't need it. So you don't need to uh, just use all the settings. Just keep them default. Now, second point over here is the settings, which is going to be the most important one, because now you are going to create certain connections. If you don't have the connections, you cannot refresh your data set because how you are supposed to get any data set name over there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply click on this plus new button over here. If you have already used or established some connection, you can just see in the drop down like over here, Power BI data set refresh because I have recently used it before demoing anything. I always try it myself so that I can get you know, okay, what is it actually all about? So I'm going to click on this plus button over here. It would, it may ask you to authenticate yourself before applying anything. I have already done the authentication, but if you would like to create a new connection over there, then you would find all these options over there. You can give it any name. Then you can simply click on this sign in 
once you are going to sign in then you are going to go back there and there you can simply go further so now you see that power bi data set connect has been created over there i'll click ok once you will click ok over here then it's going to start loading your workspaces or data sets or some other settings as well this is really a nice way to load your all the workspaces and data sets over there this is going to help you to choose the particular data set from a workspace which you really want to refresh using this activity now over here you see i have my workspace now let it get loaded guys once again i would like to iterate that this feature is still in preview so if there is any performance issue or anything that you are getting over here you can provide the feedback to the microsoft fabric team they are going to definitely have a look into this so i'm going to select this fabric workspace i can select any of the report for example adventure works dw but do remember that your connection should be configured on that data set and what does that mean whenever you would try to schedule a refresh on any of the semantic model in microsoft power bi service or microsoft fabric then it should always have a data gateway con connection configured over there if it's on premise if it's just a cloud solution then probably you don't need it but still i always recommend that whether you are using sharepoint azure or anything else use it via data gateway what is data gateway how to use it how to configure it i have already created a couple of videos on that once again you can find all those videos on our channel or some of the links in the in the description section so please don't forget to check them out now you can see that i have selected my data set if you want to check something at one setting so there then definitely you can do it over here but as i said you really don't need that simply you have to just fill out your workspace data set and then you can save it validate it and run it so i'm going to save it over here it's going to save it's going to take a couple of seconds to save it's been saved if you would like to schedule it you can do that now here's the fun part schedule etc are just the uh, you know uh i'll say these are the well known things that you can do it but what i would like to tell you that how you are going to make it even driven data set refresh well this is an activity over here in the data pipeline if you would like to connect this particular data pipeline with some other activities that you can also do for example if you want to add certain more let's say you want to add an activity where you would like to run a notebook so i can add a notebook over here and then i can connect this notebook to my this activity over here basically that's how you can do it so what is the logic that i'm repeating all those things imagine you are working in an old organization that there your data lake house is loading some of the table over there and those table data getting loaded into the analytical data layer but somehow some of the table data hasn't been loaded and then you run this activity at a particular schedule that is not an even driven data set refresh so that's going to send a wrong message so rather than that what if i have a notebook or workflow created that is checking first what's happening at my adl all the data set or all the tables have been loaded or not and only after that this activity should run that is what i call even driven data set refresh so first you have to create a notebook or any workflow over here that is going to complete and only after that your next activity has to be completed that's what you have to keep in mind now you can run it immediately or any particular schedule that's all about the data pipeline so i'm going to delete it and if you will come here you can simply run it if you are going to save and run it's going to show you the same window that generally you get it it's going to refreshes automatically but this is not going to run it because i haven't configured any data gateway over there so that's the thing but you are going to get overall this kind of window over here so it failed as i told you because i haven't configured any of the data gateway settings under my data set if that's been configured then this is going to get refresh so what do you think guys about this video did you like this new feature introduced by the microsoft fabric team as an activity inside the data pipelines or you are thinking there should be more update inside it will this going to help you when you are refreshing your semantic models in power bi inside your organization or not please do let me know your comments in the comment section also if you have any question or concern don't forget to let us know in case you are looking for any of the microsoft power bi microsoft fabric training programs please connect with us till then Keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.